talked about the Canadian way and what it meant to be a Canadian and who you're playing for in the process. We talked about the opportunity, what it really was. We talked about last year's experience. I was on that staff in uh, 2015 that won in Prague, but also Duchesne was there, Hall was there, O'Reilly was there. So we had some carryover experience there. We talked about the growth and development we were going to go through as a team. And obviously, at the end of it, you had the opportunity to leave as a world champion. So you're coming over there, you're going to represent yourself, your family, your country, and you have a chance to win a gold medal. Okay, so all of us are disappointed in the way our NHL season's ended, but we have a chance to come together and accomplish something and feel good about yourself and have a good summer. Okay? Okay, so we, uh, the stuff on the right is all just the little details that go into getting your team ready. And as coaches, you guys probably already have all that stuff. But we want to be a, wanted to be a hardworking staff, be prepared prior to getting there, work ahead, get as much done as we could prior to, get to ever arriving in Prague for the exhibition game, and then in St. Pete's. And we also had to spend some time to get to know each other, because that's a big part of it, too. You've got to get to know your players, but you've got to get to know your, your coaches and your staff. Okay, and they've got to know that you care for them to do the job and empty the tank and get it done in the end. You've got to come together. So we established our process and protocol when we were in Raleigh, and we felt like we were ahead of the game when we arrived in Prague. Okay, so obviously, simply, these were our, uh, our duties. You know, my job is obviously to prepare the team however I found fit. We came up with the style of play, and, you know, it was an attacking style, it was a puck possession style. Uh, we, we didn't want to give up the puck, but my job was to run the bench, obviously, up front, manage the team as, as a whole with support from Mike and Dave, and I've already said what they were responsible for. And the three guys at the bottom were just unbelievable. Misha had all the pre-scouts done, basically, from, from other tournaments. We had all the games from 2015 in our computers. We knew the coaches. We had a little bio on all the coaches for the other countries and what they did, their style of play. And I felt real good about going into the tournament. And then Brew, if you've ever had a chance to work with Brew, is one of the better video coaches, and he's very progressive and confident in what he does. So he did a good job with all our video. And then we had a goalie whisperer and Sean Burke who came over and worked with our goaltenders. And it's the most important position. Uh, early when I took the job, we didn't have Berkey coming over, and it didn't make any sense. So we asked Tom Rennie, uh, President of Hockey Canada, if we could get Burke, Sean, to, to come over. And obviously, he allowed that to happen. And, and where it really paid off for us is in game seven of the preliminary round against the Finns, we got beat. And goaltending probably wasn't perfect, but neither were we in front of the goaltender. And after 40, we were going to pull the goalie, and I just said, Berkey, come down from the press box. I said, what do you want to do? You want to pull the goalie? You want to leave him in? He says, give him one more. He says, he's your guy going into the quarterfinal game. I said, yeah. And he goes, leave him in. Leave him in for sure. Because if we pull him now, then what are we going to do? We're no turning back type thing. We left him in. He settled down. And then uh, the rest is history. And, and our goaltender, Cam Talbot, played great. No different than picks. Okay. <laughs>